literature too, in what describes a strange people unlike any before, who destroy the land, who enter in at the windows like a thief, and are not wounded by the sword. Later in verses 23 through 25, it says that rain will come down in the first month, and the years that the locusts have stolen will be returned. This clarifies that these strange people are the locusts, which Revelation 9 tells us will become visible after the asteroid hits the earth. They come out of the pit after the rain of fire and brimstone. Joel 2 4 says they have the appearance of horses, and that's confirmed in Revelation 9 7. Joel 2 5 says there will be the sound of chariots leaping upon mountains at this time. And Revelation 9 9 confirms that the sound of chariots is the locusts. Revelation 9 8 adds that they have hair like women and teeth like lions. In Proverbs 30 13, it says, There's a generation whose teeth are like swords. And then it goes on to talk about the horse lead. In the Biblia, habla que in Proverbios 3 30 13 20, que hay una generación que tienen dientes como vampiros, dientes como leones. Está en la Biblia, son los vampiros. Hay una generación de Lilith, porque si se dan cuenta, Lilith fue la primera esposa de Adán. Entonces, si Lilith era una vampira, porque he visto videos que ella fue creada a la imagen y semejanza de Dios, entonces, si ella era un vampiro, Adán también tuvo que ser un vampiro. Adán tuvo que ser un vampiro. Sigamos viendo. En verse 15, the word translated as horse leech is number 5936, which literally refers to a vampire-like demon in the brown driver breaks concordance. Digo, vam vampiros son como demonios. Ahí está en la Biblia. Esta persona usa tools que nadie sabe usar. Yo lo uso un poco. Pero sí. Hablan de vampiros. Hablan de descendencia. Hablan de una raza. Hablan del secreto que habla en la Biblia. El secreto que es el ADN. Otra raza. ¿Ok? So, the horse leech is a vampire. Proverbs 30 says this vampire-like demon has two daughters crying, give, give, and there are four things never satisfied, the grave, the barren womb, the dry earth, and fire. Then in verse 20, it says the adulterous woman eats and wipes her mouth. This, in verse 19, is the way of the serpent, and again, the locusts are mentioned in verse 27. So... The way of the adulterous woman is the way of the serpent. The adulterous woman in Bible prophecy is Babylon the Great. It says she eats, then wipes her mouth. And since we know this creature is a vampire, that means it is eating blood. It's drinking blood. Then a ver, la mujer adúltera, lo que explica aquí, es que es la mujer adúltera, es, hace, es como la serpiente. Y que esta... Toma sangre. Toma sangre. Está en la Biblia. Está explicándolo muy claramente. She eats. En Proverbios 30, 20. She eats y se, se como que se seca la boca o algo así. Se, se limpia la boca. Pero habla específicamente. En Revelación 9, 8 también. Tits. Tits son dientes como león. Y pelo como de mujer. Así son los vampiros. Tienen pelo largo, me imagino, que están hablando. Porque si tienen pelo como mujer, quiere decir que tienen pelo largo. ¿Ok? Y eso, aunque no me lo crean, lo he visto en, la en una película que sí tienen pelo largo. Y es más, blanco. Wiping its mouth. This creature is also mentioned in Isaiah 34. This chapter is clearly talking about the asteroid impact. In verse 4, it says, The heavens shall be rolled together like a square. And this is the day of the Lord's vengeance in verse 8. In verse 9, 
The streams shall be turned into pitch and the dust into brimstone. The land shall become burning pitch. And in verses 13 through 15, it says, At that point, the land will become a habitation for dragons and a court for owls. The wild beasts of the desert will meet what the wild beasts of the island and the screech owl will make her nest there. The word translated as screech owl, number 3917, is Lilith, which is a female. Ven, Lilith, aparece. Lilith. Lilith es una vampiro. Y haga su conexión. Lilith fue la primera esposa de Adán. Entonces Adán es su vampiro. ¿Ok? Hablen, hablen su conexión. Es una, una diosa femenina conocida como la, un demonio nocturno. ¿Ok? Y esto, voy a parar acá, porque esto, yo he tenido una confrontación con ella. I'm going to stop here and I was playing, I see her. ¿Ok? I was in my dream, I entered some room. Eh, the rooms were like men's enter. Was a woman there? I see a woman in the middle, but, and I see men's like lay down like in the bed or stone or something. Okay, it's a lot of men naked, and then I see a lot of men cross the walls, naked. Okay, and then I see the woman, and I grab her, and when she turned her head and looked at me, she had like red eyes, red eyes, like she. Practically with her eyes, she told me she was so upset because I grabbed her onto my knees. And like, she was mad. Like, like, to her eyes, want to tell me something, okay? I tried to explain about what I see was Lilith in my dreams. Eh, like, like, tengo que decir que Lilith en mi sueño la vi. Ella es una mujer con ojos bien rojos en el sueño que yo la vi, porque también estos seres tienen ojos negros. Lo que vi fue que entre un cuarto había una mujer en el medio y había muchos hombres desnudos, hombres desnudos, como echados en una cama de piedra o algo así, echados, echados, bastantes, alrededor de todo el cuarto. Y de las paredes entraban hombres desnudos. Entraba. Entonces yo... Me acerqué a ella, la agarré, la, la tumbé hasta mis pies y ella volteó y me miró con sus ojos todos rojos. Como molesta, como sorprendida de cómo yo llegué hasta ahí. O sea, también lo he soñado. No te digo que yo siempre, no sé si tengo ese don de viajar a otros mundos, no lo sé. A otras dimensiones, pero yo he luchado con ella. ¿Ok? Ella... Como, si los hombres estaban desnudos, quiere decir que ella toma el semen de los hombres para crear algo, ¿ok? Entonces, sigamos con el video, porque esto es muy interesante y está en la Biblia, lo que nunca lo van a escuchar en ninguna iglesia. And that is from the same as word 3883, which means staircase or winding stair. And that brings to mind the song Stairway to Heaven, which talks about a lady who it seems to clarify later is the May Queen, when it says it's just a spring queen for the May Queen. According to Wikipedia, the May Queen is a personification of the May Day holiday, which is celebrated each year on May 1st. It was traditionally known as Beltane. The word Beltane literally means bales, fire, or shining. In Bulgaria, it's associated with snakes and lizards and bad spirits and witches in Portugal. In Lithuania, it's connected to the goddess of death. And in Europe, it's also associated with suffering and death. In Ireland, a sacrifice was made on this day to the god Beal. And in England, a lamb was sacrificed on this day. In Europe, there was a ritual on this day of pretending to throw a human into the fire. And some scholars believe this may embody a memory of actual human sacrifice. In Ireland, cow's blood would be collected in a bowl and left out on that day. 
and usually a woman will be chosen to be crowned the May Queen. So what many believe to be a celebration of spring on May Day is actually a holiday dedicated to the god Baal, Baal's fire. Baal was a false god mentioned in the Bible, and there are many words used for Baal. In Numbers 22:41, the word translated as Baal is 11:20 which it says is the plural of word number 01116. 01116 means high place or waves, and word 1116 is gomora, and it means submersion. So there's the connection to the fire and brimstone again, the destruction of Sodom or Babylon by a stone that hits the sea, the waves, and the submersion. And what's also very interesting is the use of the word in Genesis 23. It says God came to Abimelech in a dream and told him he is but a dead man and that the woman that he took is a man's wife. But notice the words used for man and wife. Both words are Baal. The word translated as wife is number 1166, which is the word Baal, and means to marry or rule over. And okay. The word... 